Good morning, students, and welcome back from a three-day weekend. Today, I'm here to talk to you about taking the panorama survey. So you will all be taking it today in social studies class. And I wanna go through and talk to you about what the purpose of taking this survey is and go through a few questions just so that you can understand uh, the types of questions and um, the different choices that you're going to have. So first of all, just want you to understand that the purpose of taking this is really to help us learn more about you and then also to learn more about how we are doing as a school. There's two different parts of the survey. One is on social emotional learning about how do you feel about your own social emotional skills? And that's like emotional regulation. How do you feel about having hope? How do you feel about sense of belonging and compassion and things like that? Then we're also going to ask you about student equity inclusion. Like, how do you feel about school? Do you feel like you're respected? Do you feel like someone at school cares about you and things like that? So first, I'm going to show you some questions that you're going to be asked on the social emotional learning. So this section, I'm not going to read through all of these, but I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you about um, some of them. The one section I think that sometimes gets some kids a little um, tripped up is this performance in school. So it talks about whether a person does well or poorly in school may depend on a lot of different things. And you may feel some of these things are easier for you to change than others in school. So how possible is it for you to change? And the one question I feel like a lot of times students get confused on is this behaving well in class, because if you already be, behave well in class, why would you want to change that? But sometimes we're not always our best and we aren't always the best version of ourselves. And sometimes we need to be able to change things because remember, this is all about your performance in school and how well you feel like you have the possibility to change. So if you were having a bad day and not behaving so well in class, how do you feel like with yourself, are you able to change that? Is it not possible at all to change it? Do you have a little bit of ability to change it? Is it somewhat possible to change? Do you feel like, yep, I know I can get myself in check and I can change, or absolutely, I can change my behavior with no problem. Um, they're also gonna ask you about giving up. Like how easy do, easily do you give up? If you're having a bad day, if you, you know, something happens out on the playground, do you give up? Is it not possible at all to change how well you give up? Or is it really easy to change how well you give up? your level of intelligence. So is it easy do you, for you to change that? Can you completely change something like that? Or do you feel like absolutely not? I can't. A few other questions. How well do people understand you as, as a person? There's five different choices here. So make sure that you really think about um, this. Do, you, do people feel like you, or do you feel like people don't understand you at all? Or do you feel like all the way at the other end, are you completely do you, do you feel like people completely understand you? And that's not just students, but that's also our staff members. How connected are you to people at school? Respect, how well do other students respect you? Um, and how much do you feel like you matter? How much do you matter to the people who are here, the adults and the other students? So just different questions like that that are gonna help us to understand you. So I really wanna make sure that you, when you're doing this with your social studies teacher, they're gonna be reading it aloud to you. You're gonna be going question by question. So if there's something in one of the questions that you don't understand, please, please, please make sure that you raise your hand and ask. The next one is the student equity and inclusion survey. So this is about how you feel about school. So we're interested in learning more about how you think about school. So you're gonna give us your honest opinion so that we can get better and make school a better place. So questions like how often do teachers encourage you to learn about people from different races, ethnicities, or cultures? Is it absolutely never, that never happens all the way to almost always, all the time, okay? Um, it might ask, it's going to ask you questions about here at your school. How common is it for students to have close friends from different racial, ethnic, or cultural backgrounds? So we want to know, like, are we providing you opportunities to interact with people from different races and ethnic or culture backgrounds? Because we want to make sure that you're all rounded. So is it not common at all for you to experience that? Or is it extremely common? Um, 
we also are going to ask you questions about, oh, here you go. At your school, how often are you encouraged to think more deeply about race-related topics? So are we having these conversations and how deeply are you having these conversations? So never all the way to almost always. So if you're kind of in the middle, you would click sometimes. So I really just want you to take this very, very seriously. It is really important to us so that we can learn more about you and we can learn more about how we can make Tharp the best possible place. So I really appreciate you guys taking time. Your social studies teachers are taking time out of teaching you today to really get you to understand what this survey is asking and making sure that you are being 100% honest with all of your answers. So I hope you all have a great day. Welcome back. And I will be back with um, the rest of this week, actually during Power Up, we're gonna be revisiting a lot of our, um, our values. We're gonna be revisiting a lot of our rules and we're gonna be talking a lot about when our rules are broken and when students aren't showing our values, what are some of those consequences that could happen? Because we're starting to notice that students aren't being as respectful in class to their teachers, to their peers. And um, we know a lot of times in the halls and at recess and at lunch, when students aren't as supervised, that students aren't always behaving. So we really wanna have those conversation and just really revisit now that this is the beginning of a new nine weeks, you're all starting off on a blank slate with your grades and also with your behavior. And you do have the power and the control to be able to change that. So I hope you all have a great day and um, we will, I'll be back later this week to talk to you more about revisiting our expectations. Bye-bye.